Good morning. It's Friday, January 29th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A New Name, and our spirit of Revelation, Chapter 2. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To everyone who is victorious, I will give some of the manna that has been hidden away in heaven. And I will give to each one a white stone, and on the stone will be engraved a new name that no one understands except the one who receives it. There are a lot of opinions as to what the new name means. Whether it's symbolic or literal, it carries deep meaning. It may be a literal, lingual name, a name which sounds different. Abram became Abraham. Saul became the beloved apostle Paul. However, I believe that it's more. I believe the white stone is that certain something Jesus places deep down inside us when we're saved. In ancient times, friends sometimes gave each other gifts of small white marble cut to fit a hand engraved with words of kindness. It was something to stimulate the memory of a kindness associated with a meaningful relationship. This is the kind of quiet understanding God's salvation brings, an assurance knowing that Jesus is Lord and you are His. It is the newness of relationship that you cannot really explain, touch, smell, or know apart from a personal relationship with Jesus. It's based on more than victorious actions. It's based on every good possibility God already knows about you. John Wesley described it as his heart being strangely warmed. In the days when John wrote the Revelation, if a child fell ill and the situation worsened to the point of fearing for life and the doctors couldn't help, the father would stand over his child and give him a new name. It wouldn't be just any name, but one of a great and valiant warrior. It would be the name of a respected and strong individual, one whose name carried authority. The child would become a new person in that name, and the disease must capitulate. This is the idea of overcoming, allowing Jesus to take complete control of your life at the cross with his blood, with his love, with his power. The disease of sin no longer has control. When you surrender to that power daily, there's nothing the world can do. You are an overcomer in Christ. For you today, if you are a child of God in any true sense of the word, it's because you have been stood over and a white stone of a new name has been placed within your being. The blood of Christ spilled at Calvary's cross has been applied to your life. And you have accepted that new name, and you bear it gladly. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.